So the digester is not going to go down. It should just be on the surface. The homeowner has got no option than to have the digester done in this way. We are going to show you how to construct a bio digester for a waterlogged area. What are the three key things that you need to look out for if you are going to construct a bio digester in a waterlogged area? It's clear from the one that this is a waterlogged area and these are some of the things that you are going to meet if you go to a typical waterlogged area project. When I came around, plumber has already laid the pipes thinking that he can bring it here for us to do the bio digester here. So I came and immediately told him no, it's not going to happen. This is clearly a waterlogged area and nobody can do a bio digester in such a situation. So the best thing for him to do is to rearrange the whole set. Even though he has spent money doing the pipe works and laying all the pipes, all of them will have to be taken out and then everything will have to be done again. I mean, look at this. He wanted to bring everything to the front because the obvious understanding is that probably this is not going to work here. You cannot dig anything here. So everything was going to be up in front of the house. And I had to let him know that, no, let's do the digester very, very close to the building where the pipes are coming out. The three key things that you need to look out for when you are constructing a biodigester for a catalog area is to see and determine how high is the footing of the building, right? Uh -huh. If the footing is up, then you know that you are in safe hands. That's number one. Number two is how high is the water table, which I have shown you already. Just one foot, you see water all over the place. He has done well by doing a lot of filling here. And then the third one is how high are the pipes that are coming out from the rooms. So how high is the pipe? That is the toilet pipe. Then you know that you have enough leverage in this particular situation. So the digester is not going to go down. It should just be on the surface. The homeowner has got no option than to have the digester done in this way. Because obviously he's going to do a lot of filling here again and try to send the pipes all the way to the front of the house. He has got no option. So that's basically what you are supposed to do for him. And in this situation, I told him you can't lay the pipes all the way to the front. No. Everything will be at the back. We'll do the two digesters at the back for you. We are dividing them because you can't be running pipes also around the house. So one digester is there. The standard size one is there. The, a big family size one is here. So this particular pipe is okay. Obviously, it has been brought up. What you want the plumber also to do is to bring this one up. And it can be done inside, so it's going to relay it inside and bring it up so that you can get enough leverage to bring the digester I mean, to bring the pipe all the way in here. Now, on this channel, we do videos that explain to homeowners how to construct bio digesters and use it as an option in terms of managing their solid waste. We also do videos that basically shows you how to construct a simple on site biodegradable toilet with bio digester. My ebook on how to construct a simple on-site biodegradable toilet waste biodigester is available for you to download. Check out the link in the description box below. And then this side, there are other pipes that are here. Instead of sending them to the front, he's going to return them to the back. And then we are going to leave a pipe for him that he will take all the way back to the front. Obviously the slope is going to the front. So there's not going to be any problem. That is what you are supposed to look out for when you are constructing a biodigester in a waterlogged area. Three key things that you have to look out for. One is how high is the water table. Two is how high is the footing of the building. The footing of the building helps you determine the level of the pipes that you are working with. And then obviously, how high are the pipes that are coming out from the house you also have to look out for. All those things helps in your biodigester construction. So this is what you should consider if you want to do a biodigester in a waterlogged area. Anything else, you are going to be in trouble. And whatever amount of money that you take will not ease your pain later when you are called to come and solve the problem that you might have created by doing an inefficient work. Dreamhouse Home Improvements. Constructors of biodegradable waste biodigesters, general home improvements, and building in Ghana in general. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe and be part of our gloomy community of biodigester lovers.
and those who are interested in using biodigester as an option for their home and for their toilet wastewater management. It's a channel dedicated to the construction of biodegradable waste biodigesters, general home improvement, and of course building in Ghana. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe and be part of us. Um, how to construct a biodigester in a waterlogged area and the three key things that you have to look out for when you show up for such a project. Make sure you look for all these key three things. Otherwise, you are going to have a lot of problem. And the three of them, as I said earlier, how high is the water table at the place, the location? I mean, how many feet do you have to dig before you can see water coming up? And second part is how high is the footing of the building? Did they raise the building enough so that you know that there's enough elevation? And the third one is the pipes that are showing outside. How high are they? Is there enough room for you to do your biodigester without having to bury it? And then you know that from there you are good to go. Subscribe to the channel and be part of us, a growing community of biodigester lovers in Ghana.